Hail to your lordship. I am glad to see you well, Horatio, or I do forget myself. The same, my lord, and your poor servant ever. Sir, my good friend, I'll change that name with you. Uh, but what in faith make you from Wittenberg? A truant disposition, good my lord. I would not hear your enemy say so, nor shall you do my ear that violence to make it truster of your own report. I know you are no truant. But what is your affair in Elsinore? I will teach you to drink deep ere you depart. My lord, I, I came to see your father's funeral. <laughs> I pray thee, do not mock me, fellow student. I think it was to see my mother's wedding. Indeed, my lord, it followed close upon. Thrift, thrift, Horatio. Uh, the funeral baked meats did coldly furnish forth the marriage tables. Would I had met my dearest foe in heaven, or ever I had seen that day, Horatio. My father, methinks I see my father. W where, my lord? In my mind's eye, Horatio. I saw him once. He was a goodly king. He was a man. Take him for all in all. I, I shall not see his like again. My lord, I, I think I saw him yesternight. Saw? Who? My lord, the king your father. The, the, the king, my father? Season your admiration for a while with an intent ear till I may deliver this marvel to you. For God's love, let me hear. Two nights together had Bernardo and Marcellus. Upon their watch, in the dead, dark, and middle of the night, been thus encountered. A figure like your father, armed at point exactly, cap a pay, appears before them, and with solemn march goes slow and stately by. Thrice, he passed by their, their oppressed and fear-surprised eyes, whilst they, turned almost to jelly with the act of fear, stand dumbly and spoke not to it. This, to me, in dreadful secrecy, in part they did. And I, with them the third night, kept the watch, where, as they had delivered, both in time, form of the thing, each word made true and good, the apparition comes. My lord, I knew your father. These hands are not more like. But but where was this? Upon the platform where we watch. Did, did, did you not speak to it? Uh, my lord, I did. But answer made it none. Once, methought, it lifted up its head as if it would speak. But even then, the morning cock crew loud and the sound, it shrunk away and vanished from our sight. Tis very strange. As I do live, my honored lord, tis true. And I did think it writ down in my duty to let you know of it. Indeed. Indeed, but, but this troubles me. Armed, you say? Armed. From, from top to toe? From head to foot, my lord. Uh, then, then saw you not his face? Oh, yes, my lord. He wore his beaver up. Uh, what? What? Looked he frowningly? A uh, countenance more in sorrow than in anger. Uh, pale or red? Nay, nay, very pale. And fixed his eyes upon you? Most constantly. I would I had been there. It, it would have much amazed you. Very like, very like. Stayed he long? While one with moderate haste might count a thousand. His beard was, was grizzled, no? It was, as I have seen it in his life, a, a sabled silver. I will watch tonight. I, perchance, it will walk again. Uh, I warrant it will. If it assume my noble father's person, I'll speak to it. Though heaven itself shall gape and bid me hold my peace. I pray you, if you have hither, hitherto concealed this sight... Let it be tenable in your silence still. And whatsoever else may hap tonight, give it understanding but no tongue. I will requite your love. So fare you well. Upon the platform, twixt the hour of eleven and twelve, I'll visit you. 
My, my duty to your honor. Your love as mine to you. Farewell. My father's spirit in arms. All is not well. I doubt some foul play oh, would the night were come. Till then, sit still, my soul. Foul deeds will rise, though all the earth o'erwhelm them to men's eyes.